Welcome to CG Turner. My name is Hema Chen. In this video tutorial, uh, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to uh, create a cloud simulation with AI imprint. You will learn how to use AI imprint to create 10 iPad character wandering around. And uh, the require of this uh, tutorial um, uh, I assume you are an uh, advanced user and have a uh, experiment with 3DX Max and the Character Studio. Also, you need AI Imprint plugin to run it and uh, a free Max script named Bake, written by John Burnett. And uh, this is, uh, as I said, this is a uh, advanced tutorial and not for beginner and uh, it, it is very complex um, there, there are roughly seven um, sections to run this uh, tutorial for cloud simulation first create um, first we will um, we add a biped mesh from character studio biped and then we will back uh, the character studio animation to the mesh third we will create a block controller to control the mesh and then we will using AI imprint to create a AI character and set its uh, wandering behavior after finish one um, AI character, we will deprecate the character to number of 10. Finally, we will um, prepare for rendering and uh, render with a uh, 30x max default render. So, um, uh, let's uh, start from here create biped mesh from character studio. Um, start your 3x max um, in this I use 3x max version 7 and uh, go to um, system and biped uh, before you create biped set a um, set your snapping option to uh, grid point okay and uh, then create biped and uh, change body type to uh, male and uh, reduce the spline to three leg links to um, two links to only one and um, in the front viewport um, create um, a biped from zero 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 coordination. Just click and drag, and uh, make sure that the biped is not too big. Okay. Um. If the size is too big, it will be uh, become a problem when you perform um, AI, um, cross simulation in AI imprint. Okay. Um, let me save save a copy. After you created this uh, uh, biped, um, select all the um, geometry and I use a tool and uh, snapshot. This will um, dip, um, create mesh from the 
character studio biped okay and um, after creation um, just drag your character away and um, now um, as you can see uh, this is a uh, a normal uh, biped and uh, this is only a mesh okay and uh, um, select the biped and uh, hide it and, and um, now because we are going to run a uh, um, crowd simulation it is um, best if we um, minimize the um, vertex number so um delete um some of the um uh extra geometry detail because we we don't need it and uh, this is a uh, tall we don't need it <coughs> okay now um so then any part of this um, biped mesh and um, use attach list attach all and now uh, we have this um, single mesh from uh, uh, character studio and next thing to do is um, Unhide all to unhide your biped and um, select them and move them back to the original <coughs> position. <coughs> now, uh, we rename our biped mesh to mesh and um, select the mesh and now apply physic 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 modifier to it under uh, physic rollout uh, hit the attach to no button and select the iPad zero one. <coughs> now, um, how about a uh, physic in initialization dialog? Under vertex link assignment, change vertex link assignment to rigid, and hit initialize. Now, select any bone of your iPad. And go to motion panel and load a <coughs> look uh mocap file so you will see your bipad working um there's something you need to fix. Um, um, so I set the uh, biped black back mark to in place and then change the display to this. So this will be easier for us to fix the envelope problem. Okay, so select your mesh, the mesh object, and um, go to envelope and select this and um, 
Adjust its uh, um, envelope parameter, outer radio scale or inner radio scale, all the strengths. So in this example, I increase the strength to about 9.7, and copy it to the opposite. So. Um, I guess we should fix this. Um, decrease the uh, decrease the outer envelope and uh, increase the strength. Okay, and copy this envelope setting to the opposite. Test. and uh, for this one decrease the decrease the um, envelope radio and uh, decrease no As you can see, this just take time to uh, fix this, um, and now, um, as you can see, all the um, envelope problems are fixed. Okay. So. Um, now we have uh, this only single mesh um, apply a physics modifier to attach to uh, character stereo. Now we are enter going to enter in the second stage uh, baking animation. We are, we are going to use the uh, Mac script called Bake, uh, written by John Bennett. If you don't understand, if you don't know what is uh, uh, Bake, Make Max script, please uh, watch uh, my video tutorial, previous video tutorial. Okay, so now uh, I hit the um, back button, <coughs> pop out the um, back Max script uh, um, rollout uh, because my um, uh, walk cycle is uh, 30 frames so I set timing sampling from 0 to 30 and I change a back option to mesh animation and uh, change output to vertex animation now with this mesh selected I hit back Okay. Uh, so now we have uh, this uh, mesh, and uh, I will use uh, select, invert, and uh, delete. Now um, for our scene, there's only one mesh, and there's no uh, character stereo or physics modifier to it. However. It contain the work cycle, uh, work cycle in information. Also, it is a uh, in-place work cycle. There is no movement forward. It's work in place. Okay. 
I rename it back to mesh. And now we are entering the uh, third stage. I enter in the third section, create block controller. And then let me briefly in, uh, explain why we have to perform the one and two step to run the three step. Why don't we just uh, skip the first and second step? Let me exp explain it. Um, so uh, I will create a, another biped. Just drag, okay, and then um, load up the walk walk log walk cycle. And now, if I want to add a block controller to this biped, um, go to graphic editor and uh, track view dope dope shift and global track block control available and right click assign controller. You can assign master block. And now, if you want to add a track to to your character studio biped, it cannot be done. You cannot add con uh, block controller to the biped character. That is because the biped character is a hierarchy uh, linking a mesh. Um, the block controller only can be Edit, <coughs> add a track like a uh, transformation or rotation or vertex uh, keyframing, but not the hierarchy uh, procedural animation. So that is why we have to. Um, that is why we have to uh, bake in all the animation to one single mesh before we um, start adding the. Uh, Block controller.